What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm going to be giving an update on Caspa. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. So as usual, I love to give a recap from my previous Caspa video. However, I usually recap Caspa, but in this case, I want to recap Bitcoin. And just remember, Bitcoin is correlated to most altcoins, so it's very important. But in my last video, Bitcoin was trading at 50,900, and I had it drawn in a bull flag, and I said bull flags break up 68% of the time. And then I talked about the Class A bullish divergence. Fast forward to the current Bitcoin chart, and the bull flag that I've been drawing for about the last week and a half has absolutely exploded. And now we are over $60,000. Now, this bull flag does have a measured move up to 61,785. So we'll see if it ends up playing out. But this is still very exciting to see for altcoins. And if you guys enjoy making gains in the crypto market, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll go deeper into the charts at the end of the video. So make sure you guys stay tuned. But anyways, Caspa is currently trading at a price point of just over 18 cents. Their market cap is just over 4 billion, which ranks 29th among all cryptocurrencies. And their circulating supply is 22.8 billion out of a max supply of 28.7 billion, which is about 79.5% in circulation. And at the current moment, they are only down 4.8% from their all-time high that they reached eight days ago at just under 19 cents. So Caspa is still holding very strong after the pullback. And then if you guys are looking to trade Caspa, I recommend using KuCoin or MEXC. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But now we'll go ahead and hop into the Caspa X account, which has 203,000 followers. And the first thing is what they posted February 24th, 200K on X, nice work Caspa community. And for the longest time, Caspa was hovering right around 198,000, 199,000. So it's cool to see a milestone reached. And then Caspa Africa posted on February 23rd, Uganda Digital Policies Encounter and Discuss Benchmark. Caspa in the building of House of Representatives. With a number of solutions to the industry through solving the trilemma, Caspa is a favor of all cards. And then Caspa replied, Caspa ambassadors continue to spread the good news around the globe. And this is one of the biggest things I've always talked about for Caspa. They are very good at getting their name out there. And then they posted on February 23rd, introducing Rock the Caspa, a monthly news and update series on all things Caspa, development, outreach and events, ambassadors, and more. Hosted by UK ambassador Chris and his brother Tom. Episode one coming next week. So feel free to watch the teaser if it sounds like something you guys might be interested in. But now we'll go ahead and hop into some macro news that could affect Caspa's price action, even though it's not directly correlated to Caspa. So this is Watcher Guru's X account. And they just posted 43 minutes ago that $90 million worth of Bitcoin shorts liquidated in the past. 24 hours. And as I always say, who doesn't love a nice short squeeze? And then as I said at the beginning of the video, they posted one hour ago that we are now up to a $60,000 Bitcoin. Pretty much all of their recent posts are just Bitcoin climbing because Bitcoin truly has been skyrocketing at a rapid pace. Here's a change up six hours ago, $3,300 Ethereum. That's also very good to see. And then they posted 19 hours ago that JP Morgan says we see the higher cryptocurrency prices not only sustaining, but improving. And JP Morgan hasn't always been the biggest crypto advocate. So this is a very good thing to see. Now, the last thing I want to show you is what they posted February 26th. So Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy Bitcoin investment is now at a $4.6 billion unrealized profit. And this is crazy to see because I remember a time where a lot of people were questioning whether or not MicroStrategy was going to get liquidated because Bitcoin had fallen all the way down to 15,800. And there was never a time that they lacked conviction. They continued buying and buying and buying, and now they are reaping the benefits. But anyways, while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I'm sure a lot of you guys know at this point, but I post on here pretty much every single day and I'm constantly calling out projects that I'm bullish on and the gains that we are making. So I think you guys might get some useful information. But then if you guys wanted to take it a step further, I actually have an opportunity for you. So I have a private Discord through Patreon. And at the current moment, I have three different tiers. I have a general Discord slash trader tier, an exclusive tier, and a VIP tier. But there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, this is going to give you guys closer access to me. And you guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And just understand, a lot of these cryptos are microcap gems, less than $10 million in market cap. They're the kind of cryptos that could theoretically turn $1,000 dollars into a hundred thousand dollars and just to show you guys some of the gains we've been making now this first post goq is not specifically a discord gain but we are up 1500 percent in six months those are incredible gains just to put this in perspective if you invested ten thousand dollars in six months your ten thousand dollars would have been over a hundred and sixty thousand dollars but then i called out box bet and we made 24 percent in five days d cloud made 31 percent in two and a half hours agi 567 percent in one month this was another goq 
gain 172% in 13 days. And then mine token 602% in 11 days. And the gains just go on and on. So if this sounds like something you guys might be interested in, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. And it's also in the description of the video. I would love to have you in here. But now for the final part of this video, I'll go over some technical analysis. So this is Caspa on the daily time frame. Now, in my last video, Caspa had just reached all-time highs. So I said, if I personally missed that explosive move up, what I would do is start flagging out Caspa. And while this started to flag out, the RSI and stochastics would start to reset. And then price action could possibly get a bounce off of the 21-day moving average. Now, the bounce off of the 21-day moving average never happened, but I think a lot of that is due to Bitcoin skyrocketing. But I will say, if this bull flag does end up playing out for Caspa, it actually has a measure move all the way up here to just over 20 and a half cents. And that would easily put Caspa at new all-time highs. So it's definitely something to watch watch out for. But there is one very bearish indicator that you need to be aware of on Caspa, and that is that price action swings from a lower high to a higher high. The RSI is higher high to lower high. That is class A bearish divergence, which typically signals a local top has been reached. However, I want to be crystal clear, because Bitcoin is skyrocketing, I don't necessarily think this is going to play out for Caspa, but it's definitely important to understand that there is a massive class A bearish divergence. Now, lastly, we will take a look at Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. And as I said at the beginning, it is very exciting to see that our bull flag has played out perfectly. And not just this bull flag, but the previous one as well. We have nailed Bitcoin two times in a row. But regardless, at the current moment, the RSI is now extremely overbought. However, the stochastics still have room to keep coming up. Now, as I said earlier, this bull flag does have a measure move to about 61,700. So it is something to keep your eyes on. However, if you go to Bitcoin's weekly time frame, once everything loads here, similar to Caspa, you need to understand that there is a bearish divergence. Now, I will say because of this super explosive move, Bitcoin no longer has class A bearish divergence. Instead, they have class C, which is not as strong. And I've been talking about that in my previous videos. If we skyrocket out, then price action could negate the bearish divergence. But also just understand macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis analysis. So it's important to always remember that crypto is an extremely volatile asset class. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think Casper will go this bull run. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.